Okay, this is a story called the banjo concert. My brother plays a banjo. He's also annoyingly pretentious. I won't play just any banjo, he says. It's got to be a tenor banjo, from which we're all supposed to gather as much superior to a fiver or a twenty banjo. So one day, he invites me to see him perform in a banjo concert. Now, I'm sure most of you will be saying to yourselves incredulously, What? They have banjo concerts? Yes, they do. As of this writing, they have not yet been banned, but I have it from a reliable source that there's a committee in Finland working on it. And now you're probably thinking, tell me more about Finland. Well, I only know two things. It's somewhere east of Toronto, and we always beat them in hockey. <laughs> now, anyway, I went to this banjo concert. Where we, it was held in an abandoned marijuana plantation just west of southeast North York. <laughs> and there was my brother <laughs> on stage with a hundred other banjo players all playing the same song at the same time. It sounded like lemmings being mutilated. Children were crying. Lots of people wore earplugs. But I, I decided to get into it, so I, I chugged a bottle of tequila and smoked a huge hash cone. <laughs> I danced and I danced and I danced and then I danced some more. And that's the last thing I remember. I woke up six hours later in a portable toilet with a splitting <laughs> headache and vomit on my tuxedo. It was dark and I, I soiled myself. <laughs> but at least the lemming massacre was over. I cleaned myself up as best I could, smoked another hooter, and headed out into the night smelling like a turd. <laughs> I stumbled along a dirt road till I reached the highway and I started to realize I still had a stool down my pant leg. So I was about to shake it loose and I noticed a, a discarded half-eaten sandwich uh. under the street light. So I, I thought, hey, what the heck, I'm hungry. So I go over to pick it up and suddenly this dog comes out of nowhere and tries to snatch it from me, but I'm too fast, man. And I gave the dog a boot and the stool went flying, so he ran over and ate that. <laughs> Christ, a dog will eat anything. A slow-moving freight train was rolling by, so I jumped into an open boxcar for the ride home. I fell asleep again and woke up at sunrise, just as we were pulling into Barry, a city famous for being named after Barry Manilow, but spelling it wrong. I was somewhat dismayed to realize that I'd gotten on a train that had gone in the wrong direction, and was now a lot further from Toronto than I'd planned, but I decided to look on the bright side. So I stared at the sun for five minutes. <laughs> Safety tip number one, don't do that. Now luckily for me, I had a thick bus pass given to me by a former classmate, Kevin, just before he was kicked out of school. So I grabbed the bus for the trip back to Toronto. Now this seemed to bother the bus driver who rolled down his window and yelled, Quit grabbing the bus and get on board. Well, that actually made more sense, so I took my hands off the fender and I hopped on. But then the driver started tapping rudely on a sign which said, No hopping. So I gave him a Heil Hitler salute. Goose stepped down the aisle to the back of the bus. And when I got seated, I looked up to see that he was glaring at me in his rearview mirror. Fucking Nazi. With him watching me, I'd never be able to smoke another joint. <laughs> Fuck, my head was still pounding, well, no, man. If you want to put it in. So I promised myself right then and there, if I ever went to another banjo concert, <laughs> I wouldn't drink tequila. I'd be mushroomed instead. <laughs> the end. Woo! Whoa, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah.